time for another Super Magnet Man video, but this one is going to be different. One of the things that I have been doing is trying to explain a lot of magnetic phenomena, but in doing so, sometimes I stumble upon things that I can't figure out. And that's what this is. This is going to be a magnet mystery video. And I'm inviting all of my friends in the magnet world to come in and look at this and see what your ideas are. Over the next week or so, I'm going to let, this, let the comments accumulate, and then we're going to take those, any additional testing I need to do to try and answer this question we're going to take care of, and I want to be able to come back with a second video that gives the explanation, but I need your help. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about. I have this giant 3-inch diameter, 3-inch thick, N50 magnet. So you would expect this to have a massive magnetic field. It would also be very uh, consistent across the surface. However, something interesting happened. I was making some uh, really fine particles so that I could see something in another application completely different from this, and I made some very fine particles of iron and mixed it in alcohol so that it'd be free to move, had very low viscosity, and I put them on this magnet looking for something interesting, and I saw something I did not expect. So I want you to help me figure this out. So let's see what I'm talking about. This giant magnet, when I put my iron powder on this side of the magnet, we really don't see anything. We can see the iron powders there, but now, when we pick it up and set it down on this side, notice these circles. We have circles showing up. Where are the circles coming from? Notice that if I move the magnet around, it leaves these little traces and it's cutting through here. How is this doing this? Keep in mind, I'm on the surface of a, th of a magnet that's three inches thick. It's got a 57, 5800 gauss field and I drop this down right on top, how is it pushing the iron powder away from these regions that have this white spot? We'll do this again and set it down. You see what the spots look like. All right, so we're a little bit closer and we can see that these are some dark gray circles on the surface. So let's take a look and see what it looks like now. So we can see that these dark spots on the surface of the magnet are causing the problem. You'll see that it matches perfectly on those, on those dots. We don't know what's happening. It's little shiny spots, but you can't feel it. Yet when we put the powder on top of it, exactly where those spots are is where we see the magnet pushing the field apart. What is happening? So I wanted to use my microscope. I've got a digital microscope. We're going to look at it and move the spots underneath this microscope. Okay, so we've got one of them here. Fine-tune the focus a little bit. And you can see the dot in the center, but it is not really showing us that there's anything very different about it. There's another spot and another one. There's one of the larger ones and see if you can look at that. It looks like something has been dropped on the surface of the nickel. And so that's one of the things that we're looking at, but I wanted you to see what we have. Now, to make sure that you know how we've done this, I start with regular iron. This is a piece of channel that I picked up from Home Depot some time ago. I prepped this side of it and cleaned all the rust off of it, and I'm using some 7,000 grit sandpaper to create this very fine iron powder so that I can see what's happening. So I put a little bit of alcohol on here, and I'm just sanding to get some metal off of it. I have to do it pretty quick because the, the alcohol does evaporate when we put it in here and set it back on top. That's when we see all this strange stuff. So that's what the situation is. I want to know about those open spots. Why is it doing it? 
and what's causing it. So I've given you the information that I have at this point. Hopefully you've got some other ideas and if you've got some ideas, I'll leave the setup here so that I can test this again and we can do some things and get some more information if you have it. And also, don't forget to share this. If you've got other people that you know that might be interested in helping us solve this mystery, we'd love for you to share this and get the word spread around and get as many people thinking about this as we can. So thanks for watching and thanks for helping us out. Thank <laughs> you.